Greetings friends, welcome. Today we're looking at some Git internals and we're looking at the blob object. So this is when you create a file in a Git folder, uh, Git will create a blob, which is just a binary representation of your file. Uh, it's got a little header in there as well. Uh, and it'll name the file using the hash of the contents of the file. Um, and yeah, and that's what it will store in that, that hidden .git folder that is created when you initialize a Git repository. So we'll just jump in and, and have a look at that and see how it's created and so on. Uh, before we do though, if you find yourself enjoying the video, feel free to click that subscribe below. You'll get updates for future videos. All right, um, we're in a folder here. Let's do a Git init. So that will give us that, um, that hidden um, .git folder. Let's clear up here. If I go in there to start with, have a look. We've got quite a few things created. Uh, the one we're interested in is the objects folder here. That's where our blobs will get created. Uh, let's go let's go in there at the moment. And we can see um, there's no files in there at the moment. There's an info on a pack, but they're not blobs. Right. If I come back out here, and we create a file now. So let's just put some text into a file like so. And if we do a git status. Um, so at the moment we've created a file, um, but it's untracked. So git doesn't really know anything about it yet. It's just on our file system and it can see that it's there. If I, if I, if I just, um, oops. If I just look here. So here's our file one.txt and it's got the word hello in it. But if I if I go into dot .git again and into that objects folder, we'll see there's still nothing else in there, no files, just info and pack. All right, how do we get it in there then? How does a blob get created? Well, when we do git add, and let me just say file one here. So when we do a git add, this will um, add the file into the index and also a blob into that objects folder. So let's do that now. Just have a look at the status of check. Yep, so it's done that. Uh, and it's ready to be committed. Right, go back into .git and go into the objects folder now. And have a look in there. What have we got? We've got an extra, extra directory called F2. So it's, it kind of splits the hash of your file. Um, just to split, if you've got lots and lots of files, it wants them in, in a few directories rather than just one big directory. So that's why it's splitting that up. But in there is our blob. Um, so let's go into F2 and have a look. And so there's one file here and it's named with the rest of the hash. So the, the whole hash is F2 and this guy. Um, and we can look at this and just confirm that that is our file. If I um, if I use the command cat file, so git cat file, and we identify this hash, so I can do f two a a eight six. We just need enough to uniquely identify it, and as there's only one, we don't need too many. Um, and we can provide a couple of parameters on here. In this case, we could say dash t for type. So what type of file is this guy here? It's a blob, all right, which is what we're looking at today. So that's good. And then if we actually do um, dash P here, we can do pretty pin, pretty print, and see the contents of the file. And it is indeed our hello file one dot text. So that's where it gets stored away um, in, in the objects folder within your hit your your dot git folder. So that's kind of what's going on when you create a file um, and you add it to the index, a blob gets created. Um, and it, the name of it is the hash of the contents of the file. Uh, so there you go. Um, that's blobs and git internals. Hope that was interesting. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down if not though. Um, but thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Bye.